I'm going to show you my own personal method for very manual, very uh, uh, very controlled color reduction of an image. And uh, for that, I made an example image uh, that's actually uh, uh, been manipulated in Photoshop, but it started out as a scan of a uh, of a uh, copy of the Mona Lisa I did with six children's print. So I'm just going to let uh, ProMotion load it in and convert it to a 256 color optimized palette image. And there it is. It did a great job. As you can see, what I've done in Photoshop for the purpose of this example is it's a really vibrant lime green eye. So, the problem with uh, letting uh, a program do all of the color reduction for you is it's all math and it can't make really uh, sort of psychological um, judgment calls. It, it has no idea necessarily how important it is for a character's eyes to maintain their color. For instance, if you have a character with, with blue eyes, uh, if it's only very few pixels using that color blue, it might be considered low priority. Um, it depends on the program, it depends on what kind of uh, algor algorithms it's using, uh, but inevitably uh, there comes a point in color reduction where if you go any lower uh, than, a, than a certain point, you're going to need to manually control it and manually manipulate it to maintain colors that are actually important instead of just considered important by uh, the software. Uh, so in this case, that's why I created the eyes. Let's say, let's say that's uh, very important. And um, obviously, we also want to simultaneously keep as much of the uh, integrity and fidelity of the image as possible. Uh, so uh, we'll begin that in a minute and see, see what happens. 